It's Monday morning, and yes, I'm wearing my pajamas to the barn. Come on. Thank you. On a monotonous task that you have to do day in and day out, no matter what, sometimes it's important to remind yourself why. This is my why. I guess in order to do this story correctly, I would have to go all the way back to the beginning. 2019. That's me. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two small children, Evelyn, and I have a baby. <laughs> this is Hunter. As a mom of two young children who stays home with said children, you spend a lot of time thinking about your hopes and dreams. And what are they? I've always wanted to live on a farm. And that year, I thought the easiest way to go about it was just supposed to be flowers. Was to grow a garden for the very first time. And I jumped in. I had a basement and I had some lights <laughs> and I watched so many YouTube videos and I grew my own starts and I lived in a town with a shady suburban lot. But luckily my parents have a little bit of land so I grew my garden at their house. From that moment on, I was smitten. I loved how fulfilling having a garden was, raising my own food, preserving the food, and feeding it back to my family. It's literally all that I ever thought about. And after spending so much time waiting, agonizing, in 2021, we finally the farm. Of course, <laughs> as anything that's worth doing, it's worth doing big. So I did not hesitate. I filled a chicken coop full of chickens and I really got to work. Two months after we moved in, I got my hands on my very first dairy cow. Miss Honey was so nice to me in the beginning. I had no knowledge, no skills, a bucket and two hands. Lots of tears were shed in that time, lots of feet in a bucket, but I figured it out and it was so fulfilling. That first full year I hand milked every single day, twice a day, if the calf wasn't on. Luckily she had a calf, so most of the time it was just once per day. But that really taught me discipline, hard work, perseverance, even when you don't want to, and didn't have a single day off. But from all that perseverance and hard work came the milk, butter, cheese. I was swimming 
in it and so happy about it. And I guess that leads us to today. Three years later, every day, I've had a break, a month break here and there in the last three years. But for the majority, we still do the same exact thing every day. Cows are creatures of habit. They enjoy doing the same thing every day. And for the most part, so do I. So I guess the moral of the story here is, is it hard to milk cows every single day? Yes, and not really receive any monetary value in your job well done, because here in the United States, our whole worth as humans is based on how much money we can make and how fast we can climb said ladder. And in my experience, there just aren't any shortcuts. You have to show up every single day. You have to do the job. But the reward that you can get is exponentially greater than the small amount of work that I put in every day. Because here in Indiana, I can't buy my milk. You cannot buy non-GMO raw milk where I live. So I bought a cow. So what I'm trying to say is if you want a cow, don't let someone tell you that it's too much work just buy your milk at the store. If you grew up in town and have no knowledge about large livestock animals, do it anyway. Of course, do your research first. But the most research you could ever do is just hands-on experience because you can't get that in a book. And most of all, don't let the idea of a hard thing, whatever your hard thing is, maybe you have no desire in getting a dairy cow. Don't let your fear get in the way of you trying because what's the worst that's gonna happen? So you could fail, but life's greatest lessons are learned in failures. I learn everything the hard way <laughs> and I like it that way. But what if you don't fail? What if it works out? I can guarantee you that little bit of fear that sits on your shoulder, it's not gonna get in the way of me chasing dreams because that's my favorite thing to do. My handle snapped off my pitchfork. So thank you guys for watching. If you're out there in the midst of chasing dreams, I'm right there with you. It is hard, <laughs> but if it was easy, everybody would do it. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time. <laughs>